20,000 shares has been divided in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. So it will be 20,000 into 1 by 4. So whatever is the balance, 1000, that becomes the unmarked application. So this is the unmarked applications received. So what is the total applications received? 48,500. Then marked application is 45,500. So 3000 is the unmarked application. I am Purnima, faculty in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I welcome you all to this session. In this session 2 of Unit 1, like we work out a few problems on underwriting. So the first problem is, the Big Boss Limited issued 20,000 shares of rupees 100 each for public subscription. The issue was underwritten by three underwriters, X, Y and Z in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. The company received a total of 16,000 applications, determine the liability of each underwriter. So we'll work out the problem here. So the gross liability of each underwriter is 5,000, 10,000 and 5,000. So 20,000 shares has been divided in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. So it will be 20,000 into 1 by 4, that is 5,000, 10,000 and 5,000. Less credit given for res in respect of unmarked application. So their, their company has received 16,000 applications. So they have not mentioned whether it is marked or unmarked. So we just write the, uh, whatever the applications have been received, it is divided in the ratio of the underwriters. So we write it as 4,000, 8,000 and 4,000. So whatever is the balance remaining, that is the net liability of each underwriter, 1,000, 2,000 and 1,000. So whenever we are given uh, uh, the problem on calculation of net liability, so the gross liability from that we have to deduct the unmarked application. From the balance, again you have to deduct the marked application and if there is any surplus, it has to be shared between the underwriters. So whatever is the balance becomes the net liability of the underwriters. So in the problem 2, Shah and Shah Limited issued 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each at rupees 12 for public subscription. The issue was underwritten by K and Company, M and Company and N Company. So K and Company 10,000 shares, N M and Company 6,000, N and Company 4,000 shares. Applications were received for 16,000 shares of which marked applications were 8,000. 2850, 4150. So you are required to find out the liabilities of individual underwriters, calculate the commission due to them, assuming that is the, it is the maximum allowed by law. So we have here the gross liability 10,000, 6,000, 4,000. So we have to calculate the unmarked application. So in order to calculate the unmarked application, so we have here unmarked application. The total applications received were 16,000. So what is the number of marked applications? 15,000. So whatever is the balance, 1,000, that becomes the unmarked application. So this is the unmarked applications received. So this unmarked applications, we will put it here. So this 500 plus 300 plus 200, it comes up to 1000. So the balance is 9500, 5700, 3800. Less marked applications. So 8000, 2850, 4150. So when you deduct, again we get 1500, 2850 and 350. So this here, 4150, this is greater and this is smaller. So this becomes minus 350. So this 350, I have to share it between these two underwriters in their mutual ratio. So 350 into 5 by 8, again 350 into 3 by 8. So this will be 219 and 131. So when I deduct this, I get 1281. 2719. Now here again we have to calculate underwriters commission. So the maximum rate of underwriters commission is 2.5% on the issue price of equity shares underwritten. So the rate was as per, though as per the company's act of 1956 the rate was 
5%. So, we have this underwriting commission here, underwriters, so number of shares 10,000, 6,000, 4,000, usually we will take the gross liability. So, into 12 we are taking because 12 is the issue price. So, 1,20,000 into 2.5%, we get the answer as 3,000, 1,800 and 1,200. Now, we go to the next problem, problem 3 here. So, Balmar Limited issued 50,000 shares of rupees 108 at a premium of rupees 10 per share. So, 100 rupees share is issued at, issued at 110. So, the whole issue was underwritten as 15,000, 25,000 and 10,000. The applications were received for 48,500 shares. Marked applications were 12,000, 25,000 and 8,500 shares. Calculate the number of shares to be taken up by the underwriter. So, here we have this 50,000 shares are issued and entire 50,000 has been completely underwritten. Applications were received for 48,500. Out of this marked applications are 45,500. So, what are the unmarked applications? So, here we have the format here. So, the gross liability is 15,000, 25,000, 10,000. Total comes up to 15,000. So, the unmarked applications, how do we calculate the unmarked applications here? So, the difference between received, so what is the total applications received? 48,500, then marked application is 45,500. So, 3,000 is the unmarked application. So, this 3,000, I will write it in this slide here. So, this 3000, I divide it in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 2. So, 900, 1500 and 600. So, when I divide this, so when I subtract 15,000 minus 900, I get 14,100, 23,500, 9,400. So, total comes up to 47,000. From this, the marked applications. So, the number of marked applications will be given in the problem. So, it is, yes, it is 12,000, 25,000, 8,500. So, total comes up to 45,000. So, the balance is 2,100 minus 1,500 and 900. So, this is the surplus of T. So, this surplus of T, I have to share it among these two underwriters in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So, 1,500 into 3 by 5. 1500 into 2 by 5, 3 by 5. So, this comes up to 900, 1500 into 2 by 5, that comes up to 600. So, 900 and 600, 1500. So, when I deduct 900 from this, I get 1200. From here, I get again 1300 is the balance. So, the net liability of the underwriter is 1500. So, this is the net liability of each of the underwriters. So, this is a case of complete underwriting where the entire issue has been underwritten and there are marked applications and unmarked applications. So, here we have this unmarked applications here. So, with this we come to the end of this session. Hope you have all followed it. Thank you.